STT uses a sense lead to allow the machine to precisely monitor and adapt to changing arc voltage. It is attached close to the weld joint and away from other cables to minimize interference. A small magnetic clamp may be used to attach the sense lead. STT, like other waveform welding processes, may be affected by longer welding cable lengths. If long cables are used, resulting in a welding current path of over 50 feet or 15 meters, distortion to the STT waveform may result, leading to an erratic welding arc. In this situation, Lincoln Electric offers a solution, coaxial welding cable, where the positive and negative cables are combined into one, which minimizes inductive losses and optimizes welding performance. Coaxial cable is available in one aught and one gauge size up to 100 foot or 30 meter lengths. Now let's get to open root pass pipe welding. The pipe ends are prepared to a standard API bevel. The land or root face is 1 16th inch or 1.6 millimeters. Bevel angle is 30 degrees. A nominal root gap of 100 thousandths of an inch or 2.5 millimeters is used. The end of the tack welds are ground to a feather edge. Okay, the technique I'm going to use when I start to weld at 12 o'clock is I'm going to weave side to side. And this is because gravity is trying to pull down on the pool, the, the weld pool. And I want to um, eliminate any excess pen or reduce the amount of excess pen that I get on the inside. I'm going to keep a slight drag angle so I can see over the top to actually see the puddle. So for the first inch, inch and a half, I'll use a side to side sweeping motion at the top. And then once I get to oh, about 2 o'clock, I'm going to keep the, try to keep the nozzle as perpendicular to the pipe as I can. So at an angle about like this. And I'll continue that all the way around till I get to about 4 o'clock. Once I come down to 4 o'clock, right around 5 o'clock I'm going to change from a straight end angle to a little bit of a push angle. Down to 6 o'clock. That'll give us a little bit more reinforcement on the inside. After the root pass is completed, switching to pulse MIG for the fill passes is as simple as pressing the gun trigger using the PowerWave 455M STT. Fill pass welding using gas shielded flux cord wire is also easy. Just pick up the second gun and the welding mode, procedure, and gas automatically switch over when the trigger is pressed. And for rolled pipe welds, Submerged arc fill passes are possible on the same PowerWave 455M STT power source. The bottom line is that when using the PowerWave 455M STT, you can achieve high quality root and fill pass welding with the ultimate ease of use and high productivity. 
Whether you are in the shop or out in the field, Lincoln Electric offers a total solution for all of your pipe welding needs. STT is brought to you by Lincoln Electric, the world leader in arc welding. Our pipe experts in our application engineering department can provide you with welding recommendations, training, and on-site application support. We look forward to helping you optimize your welding operations and improve your bottom line.